Hello, Bond Academy. You have your coach here, Stephen Berdeen, and I have a very special guest here today. We just kind of pulled this out of the blue. I, uh, I met Michael Brandt here at the Conversations Conference. He's the co-founder of Bot Sheets, uh, which is a really, really cool, I guess I'd call it like an add-on to your bot um, to just kind of supercharge it in a few really cool, unique ways. Um, and so what Michael's going to do is he's going to go over a few things. So he's going to talk about some restaurant stuff, how you could use bot sheets to, you know, use, create menu items and specials and things like that. Or, and then he'll also show us um, real estate agents, uh, how to show properties and narrow down qualifying info in like a multi-step type of search. Um, and then he's going to show us a third thing, which is gamification, uh, we, like slot games and things like that. So if you're building funnels for businesses, like gamifying it is like a really, really popular thing right now with funnels. It's really been very effective. Um, and then we have a really fun thing for agencies at the end on how, uh, oh wait, that's going to be a secret. I'm going to, I'm going to make you guys wait till the end to, uh, to learn that one. Cause it's going to be perfect for agencies and I'm really excited. And, uh, Michael, thanks for joining me today, my friend. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Uh, yeah. First off, I'm really excited to do this um, because I think that Botsheets has uh, a lot of a lot of value to add to uh, the the bot community. Um, so I'm excited to show off really right now um, some cool things. Yeah, yeah, you are. Uh, me too, man. I know. <laughs> I know. Like you know, one thing that the members of Bot Academy are always asking for is like actual like showcases of of things that offers like things that they can offer to clients, right? Like things that like they know would add value to a client's business. Right. And like just getting those steps and just getting clear on like, on like what, not only like what it is, but how it actually solves their pain points that the business pains. Right. Um, so super pumped to get right into it here. So why don't we jump into the, uh, the restaurants first? I know sure. that okay. my, Michael was saying, you know, we'll do a bit of a progression of difficulty, right? We'll, we'll do kind of maybe more simple and then harder and harder and that kind of yep. thing. Right? Yeah. We're going to start off super simple. Bot sheets is, um, allows you to do dynamic content from your Google sheet into uh, your bot. So we're going to start off super simple by looking at a restaurant example. So I'm going to, I'm going to share my screen Perfect. and we're going to look at, um, and just in case messengers. anybody isn't clear on like dynamic content, like one example is just like, you know, pulling images into a gallery, for example, right, Mike? That's correct. So imagine you have a lot of data, a lot of content. Okay. Let's say you're a restaurant and you have a lot of menu items um, or specials and you want your bot to be able to know all of the menu items and know all of the specials for the week. But you're an agency, right? And so maybe you're doing a lot of different restaurants mm -hmm. and you don't really have the time to put in every single menu item into your many chat bot. Right. That would just be crazy, right? Or every yeah. single special. Um, but you could maybe very easily put it into a Google sheet. Um, maybe it's already in a Google sheet actually. Um, so what bot sheets does is it takes things that you have in your Google sheet and it, allows you allows your users to search on that or view that um that content mm -hmm. so okay let's jump into it yeah we yeah. are a restaurant and we have a, a demo here for restaurants okay you can see the demos by going to the bot sheet spot yeah and uh just type and in I'll, the word demo. I'll post all those links too like i'll get them okay. for you after and we can post it so they can come check out the demos for sure okay yeah. um let's see our menu okay, cool. um here's our entire menu it's going to go pull from the google sheet and pull up a gallery mm -hmm. of our menu items. So right. this is taken right from the Google sheet. Mm -hmm. And a cool feature that Bot Sheets does is it handles um, uh, pagination. So mm -hmm. showing more than uh, these 10 gallery cards, I can say see more, right. and it'll show me the next set of menu items. Oh, wow, that's cool. So basically we're starting out guys, seeing the results of what you had set up with Bot Sheets. And you know, one thing I love about Bot Sheets is that businesses, a lot of business owners don't get tech, but a lot of them do get Google Sheets, which is like, some, I think like one of the cool things just to pre-frame some of this stuff is I would imagine, and what I, and my intention too, with trying out Bot Sheets is to maybe even get clients to use the sheets and populate it almost on their own. Um, Cause it's, it's yeah. pretty straightforward once we get to that aspect. Yeah. The, the, um, the restaurant owner, um, once they have that Google Sheet, kind of feels like they are 
um, they are in control of the bot or the content in the bot. Right. And so when they change up a special menu item, they change up um, something, some event for the week, and they want their bot to reflect that change, all they have to do is change it in the Google Sheet. They, if you're an agency, they don't have to call you up and say, hey, can you change this real quick? And so that saves you time. You're giving the control of the bot to the restaurant owner, um, to, to the bot um, owner. And so that saves you time. It makes your client happy because they feel like they're in control. Um, and it, it brings all really more uh, power to the bot, I think. Yeah. Um, and and so I would also saw, say, like, if you're thinking like, oh, but wouldn't that mean that, uh, like, I'd be able to have to charge less? Or wouldn't that mean that, you know, um, it wouldn't be as an attractive an offering? Like, hey, you could always be the one managing the bot sheet. And there, there's no way the business owner is going to necessarily understand the how it all connects together with the many chat side of it, right? So yeah. um, I, I wouldn't be worrying about that if that's on your mind. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so right we saw... Off. Yeah, we saw, we saw just the menu. And so what that looks like in Google Sheets is um, a sheet like this. And we have columns for each part of the gallery card. So right. the title column has uh, the, the title that you want, the subtitle that you want. You can have your own custom columns. Um, we'll get, we won't get into that too much, um, but then you have, we'll, you have save, we'll save the more complex stuff for later calls, guys. Yeah. But we just want to kind of demo like the power of this for this one. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Um, you have an image and you have different buttons too. So you yeah. saw a button on there that had the caption order now. Right. And when you click order now, it can go to a specific flow in ManyChat. And so you get this from the URL um, in ManyChat. You can have different types of buttons. Mm -hmm. You can have a call button and you can put in a phone number um, right. or URL, go to a, a URL website um, or a node um, in the ManyChat flow. Um, they're getting rid of the share button. So, so we're not going to use that. Um, yeah, for sure. But that's the button there order now. And so right. that's, that's the simplest use case that I, that we can think of uh, yeah. for bot sheets, a menu. So then things can get a little bit more um, complicated. And to show you that we can see daily specials. Okay. We have a different tab here for specials. Okay. And each special has its own, column for a day. And so meatloaf is a special for uh, Monday, Friday, Sunday, and also surf and turf is um, a special for Friday, right? So what I can do is I can say, show me the specials for Friday and it will load up the, uh, the meatloaf and the surf and turf because oh, they're specials for, for that week. And so what that did was it actually searched the Google sheet for rows where, um, where column B here contains Friday, mm -hmm. and that happened to be meatloaf and surf and turf. Um, Beautiful. So very simple. Uh, yeah, um, the the restaurant uh, owner can go in and. Simplicity is the is the beautiful aspect, right? <laughs> like I love that because because like I know there are plenty of members with uh, restaurant clients, and I'm sure many of them are, are creating menus or maybe even like payments uh, integrations and whatnot. So so, so the power to um, to create this here. And be, and be able to put the images in to draw that in as well without having to like go in and spend all that time shifting the images around and redoing galleries and stuff. Yeah. Super cool. Yeah. If they wanted to eat, turn off a, an item, they can easily just turn it off. And now it's off. It's not going to show up in the gallery uh, card anymore. So search again. So it's basically no like a, a searchable database for businesses to pull things into your bot. That's exactly right. Um, so it just actually turned off the surf and turf. And so now we just have one item. Um, you can control every, uh, almost every component of the gallery card, the button, the title, the subtitle, you can control the image aspect. So whether you want to be horizontal. <laughs> just like square. mama makes. Love oh, yeah. that. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, so that's, that is, I think the, the basic, um, um, you know, high level overview of bot sheets. Okay. So um, then things can get a little bit, um, a, a little bit, um, how do I say, like advanced, right? Like the, sure. the, the more advanced mode of bot sheets. Hey, what that's, that's what people are like craving too at times, right? Like the yeah. more advanced things that can distinguish themselves, distinguish agencies from their competition, right? So yeah. 
So yeah, so like, okay, so if that's kind of a restaurant solution, is more advanced kind of heading into the real estate piece? Oh yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So and and things can start, start to get pretty cool once we get into um, multi-step searches. So okay. we can actually search so there, so in the previous example, we searched just that one column day, but what happens if we want to search multiple columns? And so if I have uh, real estate properties here, we have a title for the address and a subtitle, you know, you're going to love this property. You can actually do, you can actually um, do custom user fields too. Um, but what happens if I want to search for a property that has three bedrooms or two plus bathrooms? Um, how can I do that? And so Let's do multi-step search. Okay, cool. What type of property? And let's try to narrow this down here. So I want to do, let's, let's try to find this one here. A condo, four bedrooms, two bathrooms. Okay. So a condo with four plus bedrooms. A condo with four bedrooms, damn. Yeah, I, <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't wait to move in there. Uh, I don't think I have them. It must be a sweet loft. <laughs> uh, yes, Houston. Uh, that's apparently what it looks like. So this is this is Houston, okay. and we can see that it pulled the right one. It right. pulled this one here, and it'll say, "You'll love this property, Michael." Um, right. And we can view, and it'll go right to whatever URL we have for uh, for this property. Mm -hmm. And so it searched the sheet for um, exactly what I was looking for. Right. Um, we have another column for has pool. We're not, we didn't actually search that column, but you can, this is just an example of, of um, types of things that you could add into the Google sheet. Any type right. of criteria so, that. So when it comes to like the, the search, it's like, I can see a use case. And I know some people will like integrate directly with like Zillow or something, right? But like, I haven't seen that out there actually solving a problem for the actually actual realtor. Like I've heard different price, like the prices of houses aren't necessarily always accurate. So this is a really cool way, like for instance, in Canada where there isn't really a Zillow, um, but in America too, um, where you'd be able to like, someone who uses like MLS listings be able to just kind of copy and paste like the site and the image and the, the keywords around the house and like what type of things there are, uh, the type of qualities that are around the house and then just add it into your database in a searchable way on the bot. Is that, is that kind of accurate? Yeah. If you have, if you're a real estate agent, maybe you have like a dozen or less than a dozen um, properties. I mean, you can have as many as you want, but, but you have a set of properties at a time mm -hmm. and you want a way for, um, for those properties to, to find the right um, a potential owner. Right. Um, this I think is a really good way to do it mm -hmm. um, because the owner, the, uh, the, the potential owner can can tell you what they're looking for and um you can set them up with uh the best match for them based on the set of properties that you have at the time right um doing that uh, within many chat uh would i mean i don't think it would be realistic right many chat's great i love many chat one thing many chat doesn't do well is is the database is like having a lot of properties having a lot of restaurant menu items, um, which is fine. That's not, that's not the, the main point of ManyChat, right? ManyChat is flow building, um, but it's missing this. This is what it was, has been missing. Mm -hmm. and, um, and I think Bocchi's really fits this, this, uh, this need uh, in the, in the ManyChat market. Yeah, I agree. I agree. That's why it was super cool to meet you at the conference. Cause it, I remember <laughs> we were, if anybody's there, it was Andrew Warner, Nick, Julie, and I sitting there and Michael comes over and we like, start, we start talking about bot sheets and I was like, Oh man, we have to get a video of you out to the, the group. So, so uh, <laughs> I'm excited to get, you know, definitely as we go through this guys, if you want, definitely leave, this will be on a post. So leave questions and we'll, we can also be answering questions if anything seems complicated, but I think Michael's definitely keeping this simple for us. So uh, yeah. And, and, um, Thing, yeah, things uh, like agents. You can show agents, um, show open houses. There's a lot of cool things you can do with bot sheets. Um, nice. So, so they could you can be see like, if this was like a brokerage page, there could be like agents that they could select to make a meeting based off of like just certain attributes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. We have uh, the demos here. So you can see automotive searching for a, a specific type of uh, vehicle that you're looking for. Right. So this e -commerce. is. Similar in the context of like a multi-step search. Yeah. 
right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, e-commerce, you can load up all of your products. Uh, some people that are using bot sheets now, they're throwing a lot of products on there and um, users can search, Hey, I'm looking for um, things. I'm looking for things that, uh, you know, like clothing. Um, and this is the type of clothing I want. And, and you can really narrow down health and beauty. So like spas and, and uh, fitness classes, like, are you, like, are you interested in spinning or Zumba or, or some, or things like that? And they can show the time that those classes are uh, right. recruiting different um, job openings. Um, and then we have classic and, and there's some cool examples in classic too. And, and we have all of these templates are free. We're, we're giving out all of these templates and, and they have different flows that really show cool things that you can do. So you don't have to know how to code. You don't have to be um, a super advanced user. Um, we have documentation that shows you how to use this and it's really right. not that hard. You can get this set up pretty easily. Right. Um, yeah. I, I went through some of the setup and um, if anybody needs help with that, let me know. But uh, yeah. it definitely is, is relatively straightforward, um, which is, which is awesome. Um, and another one of the great powers of this program. So I'm very excited to see how everybody uses this. So, so now that we've kind of gone through restaurant and some, some multi-step search and real estate and, you know, you guys can definitely go in and play with these demos. I'll make sure I'll, I'll write a reminder right now to post the link, uh, link to demos. Um, but I know let's, why don't we get into that third piece here? Because I know that this is something that as a lead magnet for a business, and I know probably one of the harder, maybe just strategically, one of the things that takes the most work or the most learning is how to fill a bot with people, right? And you always need a really good value proposition to fill the seats and get people to click to, to get into your bot. Um, that's where I really love gamification, right? Because it's light, it's fun. There's like not that much buy-in, but you get them on your list and then you can kind of use the game to, in a, in a way that is relevant to their market or their industry or the, the problem that they solve. Um, so yeah, really excited to jump into that. Can you, uh, yeah. talk a little bit about gamification and, uh, how you guys are using that? Yeah. It's all about engagement, um, with your bot, bringing people back into your bot. Um, engaging them in, in some sort of way that, that, that makes them want to come to your bot. Mm. And so one of the things that you can do is gamification. Uh, we have an example that this is, this is pretty new. This is a slot machine. Okay. And we're actually using bot sheets to build this slot machine. The, one of the things you can do with bot sheets is not just galleries, but also searching for text. And so in this case, we're going to get emojis and the emojis are in the Google sheet. And uh, as you can see here, we have different skins for the, the, um, the slot machine. Right. We have like, like, like themes, food. Yeah. And so you can, you can pick what skin you want. Let's pretend uh, oh, we have fruit I and mean, we have so many. Um, <laughs> let's do the fruit one. Okay. Okay. So, so in this context, maybe it's a supermarket or, uh, sure. you know, maybe so let's go with supermarket. I mean, yeah. I <laughs> there's like spa or coffee, like these are all businesses as well as yeah. games. So yeah. Go yeah. Game, yeah. Um, and these emojis are all in the Google sheet. You don't have to build that out. We have that built out already. You just pick which skin you want. You can see how many points you have, and this can change too. You can call this tokens or gold. I don't know, call it whatever you want. And, right. and you can bet uh, a certain um, amount of points. Okay. And what we'll see is three rows. And if you get four in a row, uh, you win. And so like it talks, if you start off with the bot from the beginning, it'll actually show you, hey, get these in a row. This is how much you win. Um, right. But this is, this is a, um, and it's pretty fun. I've heard it's, I've heard it's pretty addicting from people um, <laughs> because um, looks so like we got four in a row. Um, so we right. won, uh, we got 50 there. Um, right. So I guess you, you, so I'm seeing the game, the raw game in a sense, and it, you would basically create the context for the game. So like, what's your, basically, why are they playing, right? Like they'd have a particular offer or draw or some type of result that they could get from, you know, getting the, getting the right amount of fruit in a row. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly right. Um, and the game can be anything. For our example, we're using a slot machine just because we thought, oh, this is, this is pretty cool. Like, this, this is like, this really shows something that bot sheets can do. Sure. Um, the, the other part 
about gamification is um knowing what place you're in like if yes. like yes. a leaderboard right yeah um i don't know too many people that are doing leaderboards i don't know if it's possible but but um one of the other things that we built out is a leaderboard mm-hmm. um so i have 994 points but i also have a tracker of how many points i've accumulated in all so so you can get points and then you can spend points but i won't get into that too much i have a tracker for how many points i've accumulated in all and we keep track of that in another google sheet um where we can then see a leaderboard um and we can see which place i'm in so we have this all built out this is a cool template this like just came out i think yesterday right Right. so here's me i'm in seventh place with 1408 um, (laughs) points right and so like, yeah, it's human nature to want to be in first. And so you want to come back to this bot to be in first place. I can, I can view all, and I can see everyone else that's on this leaderboard here. Uh-huh. Um, and it's kind of cool. You can actually see a little um, first place ribbon for who's in first place nice. and second, third place. <laughs> and I should be back here. Here I am in seventh place. This is all taken from a Google sheet. So, like, um, one thing I'll say is, um, is have like, have a template. Oh, oh. Sorry, I think I froze there for a second. Oh, you're okay, you're okay. Can you hear me? Okay, cool, yeah. yeah. Um, it was funny too, because when Michael first showed me this a few weeks ago, I started playing and then my picture popped up. Yeah. And what's so cool is that it will just pull like your Facebook profile picture and put it in the leaderboard. And so, you know, what I'd love to see is if you're watching this, post in the comments how you would use this game because it's really, what I love about it is it's kind of, it's generic enough that you can make anything of it, right? Like it can be kind of any niche that where you, where you're doing a draw or a contest or you want the game to lead to a particular result and you, and where there would be value in having it be competitive. So, so giving people the motivation or incentive to come back and play, right? You know, I'll put this in the context too. We all know January 15, that plus one is going away with Facebook. You know, maybe there'll be other announcements and stuff that help us out instead of kind of make it a little bit harder. But one of the really cool things about this is it's a potential solution to that. A potential, something that you could maybe create as compelling enough to bring people back because they thought to do it instead of just something where you need to be pinging them or reminding them. Um, Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. And we sent out this demo, uh, like a week or so ago, uh, with the, uh, the slot machine and we're actually seeing people coming back and playing again. Really? Um, because it's just, it's just kind of fun. It's like, you know, you're just, you're hanging out, you got nothing to do. You're, you're scrolling through messenger. Like, Oh, I'm just going to hit the bet button a few times just to see what happens. Right. Um, or maybe we release a new game and it's a quiz game and you gotta, you gotta, um, get the answers right to the quiz and you get points for that too. It's just right. like, it's very simple, but it's addicting and it's fun. And it's, um, y- you see yourself, uh, keep going up in the leaderboard. Um, right. yeah, it's bot sheets allows for cool things like this. Uh, that's the, uh, that's the main idea. And you can create a whole lead scoring system. So maybe for the people who end up top three after a month, maybe they get some, so you could use a rule to send them particular content, um, that would mean, Hey, you were top three, here's your prize. And it could be all automated. Uh, I'm yeah. just riffing here because like the, there's so many different ideas and um, yep. you can really do with this, you know, they're all just kind of coming. We added a whole uh, section on, on redeeming points. Uh, and so you can put your rewards into a Google sheet and they show up here and you give them all a certain number of, uh, of points. And so the whole redemption of points and rewards in the Google sheet is all built into uh, the template too. Right. So that's very easy to do. You just add your rewards to a Google sheet. Here's how many points I want it to cost. Um, and, and you can do, um, redemption of rewards. And, nice. and so, yeah, it's super simple. <laughs> we, we've, we've built it all out already. Oh um, man. Really, really cool <laughs> stuff, Michael. Thanks. Um, well, yeah. so at this point in our chat here, we've gone through the big three things that we wanted to talk about. Okay. We got through restaurant, talked about some real estate stuff, uh, multi-step search and properties. And then we talked about the glory of gamification. So um, I know that we talked about at the beginning of this call that some, we had something kind of really cool to talk about how agencies could use yeah. bot sheets. Uh, and what that is, 
Uh, actually, you know what? I want, I would love for you to kind of share with us. Cause I was, I didn't know that Michael was going to tell us this, but I know that this has come up a lot in the group, people wanting these types of resources. Um, so yeah, thank you, Michael. Go ahead. Sure. Yeah. So if you want to show off, um, some, some cool, uh, the cool things that bot sheets can do without your client seeing, um, bot sheets, you're like, your client doesn't need to know about bot sheets. They don't care. They just want to see cool things that your bot can do. So a few people have been uh, wanting something like this, a, a way of, of showcasing different niches that, that they may be pitching to different clients, maybe a real estate client, maybe an automotive client. Um, we made a uh, template just for agencies. We're calling it the agency template. So you just go to botsheets.com, hit get started. This is how you would um, set up Botsheets. Um, you want to, you, you have to get a template. Mm -hmm. We have templates for each niche here. And so if you, if you're just in the restaurant niche, then, then just get the, the restaurant template. Right. But at the bottom here, we have agency demos. And what the agency template is, is the greatest hits of each niche. It's a sampler of each niche. So we're taking like three, uh, we, maybe we took the menu and the, the specials, um, flow from the restaurant uh, niche and we brought it into the agency demos. We took the, the best of each, we brought it all into one. And so now you can show your client this, these demos here, without there being the bot sheets logo, um, without there being any mention of bot sheets or, um, or uh, yeah, it, to, right. to them, they can see uh, these demos. You can pitch them these demos. You can, you have so much to show them. Um, yeah, that's, that's yeah, the follow. agency template. So, so <laughs> basically, yeah, so you're empowering agencies to create their own demos to show their clients in meetings or just in your email outreach or posting in groups. Um, to be able to link them specifically to your own agency demo where it's already built for you and it's it's free of branding and you can just go use it to sell to to and then once you make those sales then you can jump on and just double down with the power of bot sheets to actually implement it um, is that that's yep. kind of the broad strokes right yep that's it um, we have uh, we have that right here on the website you can uh, check it out install it onto your many chat bot um, you don't even need a Google sheet. Like we, we've already pre-configured the Google sheet ID. So all you'll need is a bot sheets key, which you can get right from the bot sheets bot. Um, and, and in the, in the template itself, it shows you how to get that. Um, if you want to have your own Google sheet and edit your own Google sheet, um, there's instructions for how to do that, but it's, we've made it very simple to set up and get running very quickly. Um, it just uses the default Google sheet. Um, but you can of course have your own Google sheet and, and edit it. Um, so yeah, that's, that's right from the website here. You can also see, uh, the gamification. Oh, here it is. The gamification template that we just talked about. Um, and, uh, there's the leaderboard and the slot machine, um, all of that. We have it all on our website. Um, we have a community. Uh, if you want to join the Botsheets community and check out some other cool stuff that people are building, um, there's some cool things out there. Um, that, 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 uh, people have, uh, really, I mean, like surpassed my expectations of what people were going to build. Like there's some crazy right. stuff. <laughs> um, I love it. I love it. Yeah. Like that's, that's one of the great things. Like I, it's so fun talking to you. You're such a curious mind and like watching <laughs> Michael work and put these things together. Like it's, it's just very cool. So, um, uh, I just, I'm very appreciative of your time today and being able to show all of the members, like all these really interesting things, all the links that we've talked about, I'll make sure to include in the post guys. So it'll be really straightforward to go forward. Um, and then uh, is including the bot sheets community as well. Um, so which is probably the best way to, to connect with Michael. And is that right? Um, yeah, you wanted to connect, yeah, connect through the community and, uh, post and, I'm sure he's in there answering questions and um, yeah. <laughs> amazing. Well, Michael, thank you so much for uh, jumping on with me today and doing this. Yeah, this, this is fun. I, I would gladly do this again or do any type of workshop or, you know, really get uh, into some one-on-ones with people if they need any help. Um, this is uh, this is like my passion. So this is so much fun for me. Um, I would love, yeah. So that's I'm awesome. looking forward to how we take this in the future. <laughs> I love it. I love it. See, that's the great thing. And that, you'll see a lot of that in the community as well. Like, like just a passion for solving problems and yeah. like an abundant mindset for sharing and, uh, 
and, and sharing things, what's working, sharing what's not working, you know, being that vulnerability as well, which is just always a beautiful thing to see. I saw that the other day with this awesome post uh, from Mark, um, who was talking about his experiences with the grocery store, um, which is awesome because I'm sure he could use some of this in that project once he watches this. Um, so yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to leave it there guys. Um, thank you so much again, Michael and guys, yep. if you have any questions, um, hit me up, you know, the way to do it. And, uh, yeah, we'll talk soon, everyone. Thanks so much. Yep. Thanks. <laughs>